Are we there yet? I'm sure that's what a lot of you are asking since it's all these videos coming out about potential free agents and trades that the Detroit Lions could be making. Some of them are possible, some of them are plausible, and some of them are ridiculous, I must admit. But what else is there to talk about, really? And we've got to talk about this because PFF has a free agent that they think could fit well on our team. And I would have to agree. Now, just listen to me real quick because I know, hey, they're not the Lions. They're not going to sign. You want them to sign everybody? It's not that. It's that you guys seem to believe we have a pass rush. You guys seem to believe we have, uh, the, the, like, our defensive line is stout. It's, it's not stout. It's, it's, to me, it's average. We got to the quarterback, 18th in the league, 39 sacks. Two rookies had 20.5 sacks, right? So where did those other 18 and a half come from? We got gashed in the middle all year last year. Going back and watching these games on replays, watching the highlights, you can see that even when the defensive scheme changed, Aubrey Pleasant was fired. There still was some work that needed to be done. And what did we do? We go and we get Broderick Martin, Broderick Martin, third round tackle, project tackle, in the third round, we did not address any pass rush. Now, we are getting Romeo Harris healthy, hopefully. We are getting um, Charles Harris, Romeo Aquara, Charles Harris. You know what I mean. We're getting those guys. Charles Harris, they can contribute if they stay healthy. Charles started the season strong, went out. Romeo came in late after that Achilles tear back in 2021. So could we use some defensive help? Secondary is solid. Linebacker, upgrade. The defensive line still needs some work. That's why we keep talking about a Chase Young and a Quinnen Williams and all these guys because we still need some work. Mark my words, you're going to see it this year. But PFF brings a name that I really didn't think of. He hails from Sparta, Matt Ioannidis. Now, I had a you know a little play on the Leonidas. This is Sparta. I, every time I hear his name, I think of Sparta in the movie 300. Anyway. Here's what PFF had to say. Says, one move that, that each team could make. Lions sign interior lineman Matt Ioannidis. Ioannidis was one of the more surprising cap casualties heading into 2022, ultimately landing with the Carolina Panthers on a one-year $5.9 million flyer. He paired well with nose tackle Derrick Brown as a lighter pass rusher up the middle. Ioannidis has missed time here and there in recent seasons with injuries, but he's been a consistently strong pass rusher from the interior, earning a pass, earning pass rush grades of 69.1 or better in each of the past six seasons with a pressure rate of around 10% in each of the past two. He can help a lot of teams make things tough on the opposing quarterbacks. A reliable veteran on the interior next to 2021 third-round pick Aline McNeil could be a key addition to a young Lions defense, defensive line that was gashed up the middle at times in 2022. Detroit does not have many holes left, but not significantly addressing the interior of the defensive line this offseason via the draft or free agency leaves an area of needed in need of reinforcements. And he's talking about significantly addressing the interior line because all we did, we bring back John Kaminsky. That's a big deal. He is, he was a dog for his last year. He's a, a leader. He deserved it. The only thing that we did in the offseason to address the defensive line was sign, was draft Broderick Martin in the third round. People had this dude graded in, in like the six. A lot of people call him a reach. We have yet to be seen. I like the kid. He seems like he has it. He seems like in his second contract, he can be one of those dogs like a Deron Payne. If he, he's either going to show up or not in this first contract. So we'll see what he has. But I agree. You can't ignore things that you see, right? So we, the, the Lions addressed the secondary. Our secondary was pathetic. They went and addressed it. I mean, they put all of this, all of this time, all of this investment into the secondary. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Brian Branch, they drafted. Cam Sutton, I mean, they traded away Jeff Okuda, cut or, or not re-signing Imani, right, because his deal was up. We And we addressed the linebacker position. We did not, and, and I keep trying to tell y'all, like, if you look at the defensive line, what, were, what was happening most of the season? Quarterbacks up the middle, Devontae Foreman up the middle, 
up the middle, up the middle, right? That's where your defensive interior lineman is going to be. We have Aleem McNeil. We don't know what's going to happen with Levi, right? So let's look at, at, Matt, at Matt's stats for his career. Dude is 28. I think he turns 29 this season. He was drafted to Washington in the fifth round of 2016. So for a fifth round pick, not too shabby. Spent his entire career, six years up till last year, with the Washington football team, Redskins, Commanders. His best seasons was a stretch, really, of from 2017 to 20, really 19, just two years of significant sacks, 7.5. These are like pass rusher stats. Average defensive tackle stats is around four and a half as far as when it comes to sacks. Last two years, and I think this is what hurt him, last two years, his last two years with Washington, four combined sacks, and then he got one last year for a total of 25.5 sacks. Outside of his second to last year in Washington, dude is relatively healthy. He missed almost an entire season in 2020, played all, well, 16 of the 17 games in 2021, and then missed some games in 2022. If we look at what we already know what his salary would be or was last year, this guy right here, I'm not saying that, oh, the Lions should go out and sign him. But what I'm saying is if certain things are brought up, we got to pay him some attention, right? Our defer- our in- interior defensive, trying to say too many words, our interior defensive line still needs some help, right? Levi Anwuzurike, the third round pick from, was he the third round? No, he was the second round pick from 2021. He probably won't even make the team, right? Then we have Aline McNeil, John Kaminsky, who's not a big body on the inside. That's what we need. We need a big body on the inside. We got Broderick. We got Aleem. We got Kaminsky. I'm telling you, it's not as deep as you think. Same thing with edge rushers. It's not as deep as you think. Go back and you watch some of these games. If it wasn't Hutchinson, nobody was getting to the quarterback, right, until James Houston came in, got a bunch of sacks in a few games, right? So this is not. This wouldn't be a bad move for the Detroit Lions to do. We still need some help. But obviously, we haven't made a move in, what, uh, several months. So is a signing high on their list? Probably not. Will some things come out after training camp? This is going to be unique because people are all the cuts are going to happen after the last preseason game. It's not going to be preseason game one cut, preseason game two cut. From 90 to 53 happens in after, one, after the third preseason game. So I'm sure people will be cut between that but you don't have to cut anybody between those two times so will the Detroit Lions do anything in between there perhaps I'm not sure but we shall see they think that they're fine right now and I mean I I'm gonna disagree but we'll see we'll see what happens Uh, I think we could use any help on the line any help at all on the defensive line we still need so let me know your thoughts below Matt Ioannidis from Sparta (laughs) Would you be opposed to the Detroit Lions signing him? I wouldn't, and it's not because, oh, another person is the sign. I really think we need help on that defensive line. I, I truly, truly do. I don't want to see what happened last year, happened this year, and I don't believe that we've upgraded that much on that defensive line. Even with the healthy Charles, healthy Romeo, we don't have the pass rush, the defensive line. Our offensive line is solid, like top two, top three in the NFL. Our defensive line is not that good, and I want that – dog defensive line. I don't think Matt does that, but he could come in and spell a leam or something like that. We got Isaiah Bugs and stuff like that, but I think depth would be awesome in this case, and I think he would be solid, and I think he would also be cheap as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, Siri, how many days until September 7th, 2023? It's 69 days until then. We got 69 days until the NFL season. I'm smiling, not because it's 69, but because it is under 70. That's crazy. Man, it is coming quick, man. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.